Hi guys, on this installment of PJ Cook Sex Food, we're gonna be making a hearty lamb stew. Okay, so this is the ingredients we're gonna need for our lamb stew today. What we're gonna need in total, we're gonna need about two ribs of good celery, a nice size onion cut into a coarse chop. We're gonna need one, a couple of carrots cut into big chunks, and I have one red and one white potato that I cut into chunks. For our liquid, we're gonna have about a third of a cup of white wine, about three tablespoons of olive oil. We have about three to four cups of chicken stock. We may use it all, we may not, depending upon how much is needed. I have a ounce of dried mushrooms, half a cup of pearled barley. I have a couple of cloves of garlic. When I say couple, I have like maybe two to three. I have a couple of tablespoons of flour. I have a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I have salt and pepper to taste. I have a tablespoon of tomato paste. We have about a tablespoon of chopped oregano, half a tablespoon of chopped rosemary, and about a teaspoon and a half of chopped thyme. And what would lamb stew be without the lamb? So I have here a pound of lamb that's cut into small bite-sized pieces. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm pulling over my Instant Pot and I'm setting it to its saute function. While our Instant Pot is heating up, I'm gonna lay out our bits of ground lamp and I'm just blotting it dry to make sure we get off any excess surface moisture. Just like this. Perfect. And this is the time to season our lamb. So I'm gonna put on some of our salt. Yeah, some of our pepper, just like that. And next is gonna be a little bit of our flour. Just sprinkle some of the flour on our lamb and just give it a toss to coat. By doing this, it's gonna give the lamb a nice crust when we put it into this pan on saute. And it'll also work to help thicken the stew. and spread the pieces out so that this way they don't stick together. Perfect. So now we will leave our meat on the side while we wait for our Instant Pot to come up to temperature. So our Instant Pot has been heating up for a couple minutes. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of our oil that we have. Not all of it, I'm gonna reserve a little bit in case we need it for our vegetables. And you can see how quickly it started dancing around the pan and how shiny that is. It's shimmering up quickly. Our oil is good and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of our pieces of lamb. I'm not gonna put in a lot because I don't wanna overcrowd the pan, because I want these pieces to brown. If you overcrowd the pan, the meat will just steam, it will not brown up. So just put a piece, scatter it in. We're gonna do it in two batches, just like that. And once you get the meat in, just let it sit, don't rush to move it around. You want it to get a nice crust, which is what all that flour is going to do. It's only been about two minutes or so, and you can see our lamb is getting nice and brown on the one side. So we can go ahead and we can start stirring our meat around and get it nice and brown on the other side. Okay, so our first batch is all nicely brown. I'm going to go ahead and fish that out of our Instapot. I'm going to let the oil get good and hot again. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in the next batch of meat. And I'm gonna brown that up. Before I add in the next batch of meat, I'm gonna to need to add a little bit more of our oil. It's good and hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in the next batch just like that. Once again, I'm spacing everything out, not to overcrowd the pan. We want this meat to brown up beautifully. Okay, so our second batch of meat has been browned. You see all that beautiful fawn that we have created in the bottom of the pan? That is lovely. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add in my celery, my onions, my carrots. I'm gonna put in a little bit more of that olive oil that I had. Any other vegetables that may have escaped. Throw that in. And we're gonna cook this for just about a minute or two, or four or five basically, until the vegetables just become nice and tender to give them a little kickstart and have them release some of their moisture. We'll put in a sprinkle of pepper and a good shot of kosher salt.
Okay, so our vegetables have started to soften. You can see some of that fond that we had on the bottom of the pan is starting to come up from the moisture of the vegetables. What we want to do is we want to release the rest of that fond. So I'm going to go ahead now and add in that wine. I'm going to scrape up all those bits from the bottom of the pan. That should just take a few moments. Okay, so I went ahead and scraped up all the bits from the bottom of the pan. Now I'm going to toss in my garlic, my Worcestershire, Add that tomato paste. I want to stir that in well. So we have the foundation of a beautiful gravy sauce starting right here. I'm going to just let that cook for about a minute or so. So our vegetables have been cooking for just a few moments with the garlic, the Worcestershire, the tomato paste. You can see how the pan is almost dry at the bottom. That's perfect. Now we'll go ahead and add in all of our herbs, the rosemary, the thyme, the oregano. We're not putting the parsley, the parsley is gonna go in at the end. We'll toss in our potatoes. We'll add in our, our dried mushrooms, all that meat and all its juices. You want any of the juices that collected in the bottom of the bowl to go in. Let's go ahead, add in our half cup of pearl barley. Give that a nice stir, get everything combined. This is gonna be a really nice hearty stew. There we go, everything's well combined. Give it a little tap. Now we'll take our stock that we have and we are going to fully cover the meat and vegetables. Make sure you get a nice, good coverage on everything. Give it a good stir. Get that stock well incorporated and mixed in with everything. Let that look nice and good. Perfect. Now we'll clamp on our lid. We'll put our, we'll close our vent. We're gonna set our Instapot onto pressure for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna let it do a slow release until it is fully finished. Okay, so our stew has been cooking for 25 minutes under pressure, and it was on a slow release for another 25 minutes. And you can see now giving it a stir how beautifully thick this has become. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Sorry for the steam. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle in half of our parsley, just to give it some freshness into the stew. And then I'll transfer this to our serving bowl. Okay, so I transferred our stew to a nice serving bowl. You can see how beautiful that looks. The potatoes, the carrots, the mushrooms, the lamb is nice and tender. The barley is plumped up. How thick our sauce is. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more fresh parsley on top just to give it a little brightness. Quick, easy, delicious recipe that you can make at home in the Instant Pot. I don't know anybody who doesn't love a good soup or stew like this. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it at home. Thank you for tuning in to PJ Cook Sexy Food. We'll see you next time.